Hi friends, happy November. So often in this month, the word that we hear over and over again is gratitude. Recognizing all of the good things in our life, being grateful for what we have, thanking God for all of our blessings. And that is a wonderful way to live, not only in November, but all the time. And so you might hear people suggesting gratitude journals, some people do it online with every day in November, something they are grateful for. Feels a little performative for me, but if that works for those people, that's great. You know, journaling is a great thing, but it's not a one size fits all kind of idea, just like any spiritual practice. There's not one practice that's going to work for everyone. And I find that more often than not, people who who don't necessarily want to journal, who that's not their go-to kind of thing, might try to start it, not keep up with it, feel like a failure. Again, not a good way to have a spiritual practice. But the very beginning of gratitude, the very first step is noticing. And so maybe we could make an effort to notice because if we're paying attention without the, we need to sit down and write three paragraphs about what this moment meant to us or who that person meant to us or that, that smell, that scent, that thing that means something to us, maybe we take that pressure away of recording it and we just need to start noticing. That's the first step. You know, last week I was on vacation with my mom and no one notices things quite the way that she does. Because if you are ever with her and you point something out, it might be something grand, like look at that double rainbow, or it might be something simple as look at that seagull that we've seen 54 of in the last 15 minutes. My mom stops her whole body and turns to look at this thing with this expectation of wonder, this is going to be amazing. And she notices with her whole body, stops everything. Now, in some ways, this is incredible. When you are trying to walk on the beach to get to a destination, <laughs> you don't move quickly with my mom. But part of that is because she is noticing. She's taking in all the things around her and marveling at them. Things that are big and incredible to most and things that might seem small to others. So maybe this week, that's what we think about. Not starting a big journal, not having any rules to it. I'm not going to tell you to notice six things today, but just starting to change that mindset to look and notice things around us. It might be things that we can smell. It might be things that we can see. It might be the people around us paying attention. And so it might be putting down those devices so that we can notice more things around us, listening to the sound, sitting on your patio, looking at the people who are helping to serve you where you are, and really recognizing the wonder and the joy in that. First step, let's start to notice. Have a good week, friends.